How do we measure inflation? We measure inflation through price index. We have different types of price indices, such as Consumer Price Index, CPI, and GDP deflator. So, do you remember what is the definition of GDP? All goods and services produced in a country in one year. Therefore, GDP deflator reflects the change in prices for all goods and services within an economy. Do you remember in the previous video when we talked about nominal GDP and real GDP? So, we can calculate GDP deflator as nominal GDP divided by real GDP multiplied by 100. So, please remember, GDP deflator, it measures a change in prices for all goods and services. But for you as a consumer, this doesn't help you much because you're not consuming all goods and services in the economy. You consume only consumer goods. So you would like to measure a change in prices for only consumer goods. That's why we have consumer price index. So with consumer price index, what do we have? We have here a basket of goods and services. So the idea behind this basket is we would like to measure inflation. What do we mean by inflation? A change in prices. Therefore, I need to fix the quantity. So in order to measure inflation, we need to fix the quantity. Therefore, in this basket, we will include the most common consumer goods. So we don't include all consumer goods. We include the most common consumer goods. For example, if we have Pepsi and Coke, and I will keep asking all of you, which one do you prefer the most? Some would say Pepsi, others would say Coke. If I discover that the majority prefer Coke, so in this basket, I will put Coke, I will not put Pepsi. If we talk about smartphones, iPhone or Samsung, I will ask all of you, which one do you prefer the most? If I discover at the end, the majority of you prefer iPhone over Samsung. So in this basket, we're going to put iPhone and we're not going to put Samsung because we put the most common consumer goods. And then at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to get the weighted average price for these goods and services, the most common consumer goods. So how are we going to calculate inflation from price index? So our inflation will be equal new price index minus all the price index divided by all the price index multiplied by 100 in order to convert it into percentage. So we just mentioned that we have two types of price indices, consumer price index and GDP deflator. So my price index could be CPI or it could be GDP deflator. Let's get a numerical example. Let's assume that we have year 2019, 2020, 2021. We have the CPI, 100 in 2019, 110 in 2020, and 130 in 2021. Can we calculate our annual inflation rate? Yes, we can. So I need to get new minus old divided by old. So I cannot start with the first year. In 2020, I need to get here new minus old divided by old. So I will get consumer price index or the price index in year 2020, which is 110 minus consumer price index in the previous year 2019 divided by consumer price index in 2019, which is 100. Multiplied by 100, it will give you 10%. So if we'd like to calculate the inflation in 2021, we will get CPI in 2021, which is 130, minus CPI in the previous year 2020, which is 110, divided by CPI in the previous year 110, multiplied by 100, this will give us 18.18%. .18%. Let's get a numerical example about GDP deflator. We have here three years, and we have the GDP deflator for each year. So we have 100 for 2019, 108 for 2020, 120 for 2021. If we'd like to calculate our annual inflation rate for year 2020, so I will get GDP deflator in 2020, which is 108, minus GDP deflator in the previous year 100, divided by GDP deflator in the previous year 100, multiplied by 100, so this will give us 8%. If we'd like to calculate the inflation rate in 2021, so it will be GDP deflator in 2021, which is 120, minus GDP deflator in the previous year, which is 108, divided by GDP deflator in 2020, which is 108, multiplied by 100, it will give us 11.11%. .11%.